What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning subscriber or a channel member, hi guys, I'm so happy that you're back today. Today is a Bippity unboxing. And for those of you who don't know who Bippity is, Bippity is a Disney subscription box company. I have been working with Bippity for several years now. And if you're interested in seeing some of the other unboxings that I've done, I will link an entire playlist down below. But we are going to be opening their Disney mystery box today. Uh, Bippity is kind of known for their Disney subscription boxes. However, they do have other boxes like Star Wars, Marvel, and they also have Harry Potter boxes. They have quite a few different options. Plus, they also have a retail store as well. So they've got a plethora of different things they offer. They have these really cool skorts that they're selling now, which is kind of fun. And I think I'm going to need to get some of those because I think they would be perfect for the parks. But I'm going to link Bippity's information down below, including my promo code, because they do send this to me for reviewing purposes. And guys, why don't we go ahead and get started? It's Bippity unboxing time. <laughs> into our regular box, I wanted to show you the sparkle box. So I get sent a sparkle box along with my regular box from Bippity and this is the free gift and it's also a separate subscription if you're interested, but this is the free gift that you get if you use my promo code which is Disney Miss Cherry, and it will give you a percentage off and then it will give you a free sparkle box. So what a sparkle box is, is it is a few Disney magnets and also stickers, and I'm such a big sticker person. So let me show you what stickers we got this month. <gasps> oh, I see a Duffy. Oh my gosh, I see Duffy and friends. <gasps> Okay, we have a Shelly Mae looking so adorable in her little sailor costume. Yes, queen, we love it. We're here for it. Next, oh my gosh, stop it. <gasps> oh, be still my beating heart. We've got Stella Lou. Oh, I love her. Look at her little ballerina slipper. She's a little ballerina bunny. Oh, we are, obs oh my gosh, I'm seriously, no joke, obsessed with her. If you watch my um, Tokyo series, you'll know that I regretted not buying everything. That was from her. Next, we have a... Um, Star Wars, You're Not Alone holographic sticker. That's a very, very pretty. And it looks like it's Rey and Kylo Ren's lightsaber. If I got that right, please be proud of me. <laughs> let me know, also please let me know down below. And then, oh, ooh, oh, this is going on my laptop immediately. We have Tomorrowland's People Mover holographic sticker. Oh, Goodness, that's gorgeous. <gasps> this is one of my most favorite rides in Disney World. Oh my gosh, someone, okay, you guys are gonna laugh. Someone described the People Mover in like the most perfect way. They said that it is like a lazy river without the water in Tomorrowland. Like, is that the most accurate representation of People Mover? Dude, I can't remember who said it, but that is like spot on. It is spot on. Okay, let's get to the box. So the box that I'm opening is actually kind of large. This is not their typical box. Like you've seen me open boxes before. The boxes usually are gray and they have like an all over print. Well, this is a much larger box. So I'm assuming we have a larger item in here. So we're going to go ahead and open it. This is the ultimate magic box, which is $119 a month. And okay, so I'm seeing a packing slip here. So this is like a spoiler alert card of all of the things that are inside. And I'm just gonna set that to the side because I don't wanna spoil anything. Wow, okay, so we have a really, I mean, this is what I'm looking at guys. So there's there's a couple things, one of, oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, I'm seeing a Funko. And so I think we're gonna start with that because it's kind of like poking out of the side. Oh no. The box got a little squished, which is okay, because I am not an in-box collector. I'm definitely an out-of-box collector. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so I actually requested this. So they have a full, like, 
list of things that you can request for your boxes, uh, like a full wish list. And you can put things in there like to suggest them to add it to your box. And this was on there and I just kind of fell in love with this figurine. I am a huge Monsters University fan and Monsters Inc. fan in general, but I saw that they had Celia, which Celia is Mike Wazowski's girlfriend. And I don't have anything with her on it. And I thought it would be really cute to set them next to each other on my monster shelf. So let me open, well, let me show you the box of her first. So here is what it looks like. This is the, um, mo it's just monsters. It just says monsters in general. It doesn't really reference if it's university or if it's ink, um, but it says Pixar monsters. And then there is Celia on this side. Celia is known for like her Medusa hair. In this little collection, you can also get Boo and you can get Mike and Sully when they're trying to catch Boo, like in their special protective outfits. And then you have the Yeti and you also have Celia. And then there's her on the side, but let's open this up. The box is pretty damaged, which for me is okay. That might um, worry some others, but also I live in Alaska, so it's had like a really, really, really long trek. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, her little Medusa hair snakes are so cute. Oh my gosh. They look like little Muppets. Oh, they look like, oh my gosh. Oh, I love this so much. Oh my gosh, they look like Muppets. Oh my goodness. Look at all of their little eyeballs. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, I love her. So uh, Celia is very sassy. She's got her hands on her hip. She's wearing a mini dress with a turtleneck. She has got tentacles, which we love. Oh my gosh, I love her little hair snakes. Oh, okay, they did a really good job on the detail of this. You can actually see the snake's scales and you can see their little rattles hanging on the side of her face and look at the back of her hair. It's got all the snakes coiled and then do you see their rattles kind of like all down the back there? Oh my goodness, this is gonna go perfect on my Monsters Inc. shelf, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, thank you guys for including this in my box. This, oh my gosh, this makes me so excited. Oh, I love me some Celia. Oh, that's so fun. That is so, so fun. This is making me so excited, guys. I am leaving for Disneyland in just a few days. I haven't been to Disneyland since late 2019. And oh my gosh. I love the Monsters Inc. area in Disney California Adventure so, so much. I also love the Monsters Inc. ride. And I, this, oh, this is like putting me over the edge for it. If you got, also, um, we're gonna be doing lots of stories. We're also gonna be doing some TikToks and things like that. So if you're interested in becoming my friend over on other social media platforms, I will link it here because we are gonna be posting a lot while we are gone to Disneyland and we're staying at the Grand Californian for the first time. And I'm so very excited to stay there because that resort is stunning stunning okay so i'm gonna move the funfettis around so it looks like we have um this we have a little bag pouch oh this is really cute oh i love these okay so this is a mickey balloon card holder oh this is so cute oh that's really adorable oh it's lounge fly oh that's cool Okay, so for me, when I go to the parks specifically, I don't like to carry a wallet. I like to carry a card holder only that has like my ID and like one or two credit cards and my Disney gift card and that's it. So I just don't like having like a bulky wallet inside of my mini backpacks because I use Lounge Fly mini backpacks which have like very, very little room in them anyway. So a wallet just like sets me over the edge for the amount of stuff that I actually need in my bag. So I've gotten quite a little collection of these little card holders, but this one's special because it has a, um, like a lanyard attachment where it can go, like a retractable attachment where it can go back and forth. But how cute is that? So it starts with like a little Mickey Mouse and then here's the card holder itself. So it's got two places where you can place cards and then it's got the little Mickey balloon and then the Mickey balloons in the background. 
And on this side, you'll have your identification holder and you can see like the Disney Loungefly like logo there. And this is actually a Disney Parks exclusive. So Bippity, when they do Disney Parks uh, items or resort items, they are, uh, they mark them if they actually got them in the park with a little pink sticker. So you'll know that they actually came from the parks themselves. I think I'm actually going to use this when I go to Disneyland because I love having the retractable portion because I will clip this to the inside pocket and that way I can just pull it out if I need it and it'll go right back. There's no way that I could set it down and like lose it or anything like that. Very practical item, which I love. This says it was $22. That's kind of pricey. I mean, I actually, it's, I mean, it's standard for like what it is. Like that's like a typical lounge fly, but like a card holder, I don't think needs to be $22. That's just my opinion. What do you think? Are you guys wallet people? Do you use a wallet in the parks or do you use a little card holder? Um, I know a lot of people that like to get like lounge fly bags with their matching wallets, which I totally understand because it is really nice to have a matching set. Okay, we've got a giant, giant figurine. Um, I know it's a Disney showcase figurine because on this side it says Disney showcase. Oh, it's Brito. Okay, so it is a Brito figurine. Guys, I've been getting so many Brito figurines. I have quite the collection now, which is really fun. So there are a couple that I've had my eye on and I think I have requested them in the wish list. So we'll see which one. I kind of have a feeling I know which one this might be because it's so thick, if you know what I mean. Ooh, okay. Brito figurines are kind of known for being like art, like pop art looking figurines. And um, so they have, it looks, they're like quilt, it looks like they are quilted with like random patterns, which is so fun. And let's see who we have. Oh yeah, it's who I'm thinking it is. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, this is so fun. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, she, oh, oh, girl. Oh, if you've never been to my channel before, guys, I love The Little Mermaid. I love it so much. It like, it brings me life. It's like my most favorite film ever. And we have the ultimate queen herself. We have Ursula, guys. Let's take a look at her. Oh my God, she's amazing. Okay, so here she is. Now, what I love about this is that she's in an alternative pose. A lot of times when you see figurines, there are like four or five poses that Disney chooses to like allow people to do. This is a different and unique pose and I love it. So she's got her arms up. She's got her little hands crossed and yes, Guys, look, her nails are even did. Ah, girl! And then she's looking so devilish. She's got incredible makeup. Her little, look at her mullet. Yes, queen. Also, look at the line down her back. Girl, that booty dough. Oh my goodness, she is so curvaceous and stunning. Look at all of these really fun different prints. This is why I like Brito figurines because I just think they're so fun and so unique. I know a lot of you don't really care for them, but I do think some of you are coming around to start to like them, which I think is really funny. I've had a couple of comments the last few videos that are like, oh my gosh, maybe I do like Brito. <laughs> I was like, right? <laughs> and then what's really cool, this star actually has some glitter on it. Oh my God, girl, that booty. I can't get over this back detailing. She looks so good. She looks so good. And then it does come with a little Brito tag. Now, these are kind of similar to like what you see with like uh, Jim Shores, right? It just has like general information about the artist. And then I'll show you what the bottom looks like. It does have little felt feet, which I appreciate. So it won't slip and it says Disney Brito. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I just love how her back looks. It looks so good. Maybe we'll have to like pose her in a way where you can kind of see a little bit of her back. Oh my God. She's perfect. Take a peep 
at our spoiler alert card. My box was curated with love by Amanda. Amanda, thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Also, congrats on your new puppy. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Are you guys following Bippity Amanda? Her dog is so pretty. Go check out her Instagram and look at her puppy. Seriously, so beautiful. Okay, um, my Disney Brito Ursula figurine, $95. Wow, beautiful. I'm so impressed. What do you guys think of the detailing of that figurine? Let me know. I have to know. Next, the Brito, uh, next is the Disney Parks Lounge Fly Mickey Balloon ID card holder, 22. And then the Celia Vinyl Funko Pop figurine is $12 for a total, a grand total of $129. Now, just a reminder, this box was worth $119. So we got a full $10 value in this box, which is super awesome. I would love to know what you thought of this box. Uh, I have to know, which of the figurines was your favorite, Celia or Ursula? Because they are both great in their own ways. You know me, I, I'm, I'm the detail in this, girl. Brito, well done. I even see like a little back roll. Back rolls. Back roll, girl. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. Thank you so much to Bippity again for sending this box. If you would like to get your own Bippity box, I will include their information down below along with a promo code for you to save a little bit of money and get a free sparkle box on top of it. And with that, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Be sure to follow along over on Instagram and on TikTok because Disneyland is coming up so soon and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye!